Okay, the power circuit is back. Amuna and I are back, and this time we are from right inside the newsroom because that's where there is a lot of activity since early morning. And this is Jack Dorsey versus the government. Rajiv Chandrasekhar issues a very strong statement. And just just a recap, I mean, Twitter has also been a kind of a tug of war between the government and the opposition. And Rahul Gandhi's favorite topic. I'm sure he must be thinking about this. And look, we stand vindicated because he's alleged that during the Kisan protests, the government had tried to clamp down and put pressure on Twitter. What does the government then say about it? Yeah. Well, I think Pallavi, the point. Point here is uh, Dorsey clearly stirred the hornet's nest here this morning by saying that in a way the Indian government was trying to control Twitter, mm -hmm. trying measures so that they could censor Twitter in some way. That's what he's trying to say. But what the government is now saying that Jack Dorsey is speaking an outright lie. So it's completely you know uh, his word versus the government's word right now. But what exactly I think hap is also happening here is that Twitter says uh, Jack Dorsey rather says who's not a part of Twitter anymore that they were raided and there were threats of people being arrested. Now the government says there was no raid. There was no arrest. And in fact, the Rajiv Chandrasekhar is trying to turn the table yes. saying it was Twitter, which was in violation of the rules of Indian rules between 2020 to 2022. Still, in a way, it was given the long rope and it was told to comply and, you know, take, took its own sweet time to comply with Indian rules. And if you're a company operating in India, obviously, you have to follow the law of the land. That's that the standard of the government also. I mean, in the parliamentary standing committee meetings, that's exactly the point that they've been making. Yeah. And these are their, you know, the intermediary rules. So we all know what the rules that yeah. were brought by the government. Basically, it was to enforce upon social media organizations, not just Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everybody else, that you have to comply with the law of the land. But where I think the also I think the view in the government is that Jack has tried to politicize the matter now. You know, and we have these general elections coming up in a year's time, and this whole debate. And I'm sure the Congress party is going to pounce on what uh, Jack is saying to portray that you know Absolutely. this is Modi government is trying to control the narrative. Isn't the timing it? is something which suits the opposition's narrative, so to say. Isn't that what the BJP also feels? Yeah, it, it seems like that because if you see Rajiv Chandrasekhar just given an interview to our colleague Neetu in uh, in Kerala, where he actually has gone and said that. Uh, I am surprised and shocked that a person who was the CEO of Twitter is making such outright li lies. You know, that's a very strong statement coming mm. from the government. Also saying that Twitter thought that it was beyond the sovereignty of Indian laws. So the government clearly saying that Twitter, you know, is trying to act too smart now in hindsight saying they did this. And obviously there's a new management at Twitter now. And, you know, the Indian management also got changed. So there has been a history of between Twitter and the Indian government for that matter. Also Rajiv saying that, you know, as I said to you earlier, that it was only in June 2022 that Twitter actually started to comply with Indian rules. Mm -hmm. So for two years they were in defiance, and then the Indian government brought those intermediary rules, and this was, and he's saying the entire duration that they were in violation of the Indian law. Nobody was raided, nobody was sent to jail. What does the Congress think, Pallavi? So the Congress, this? of course, does not believe what the government is saying, and mm. because see, you know, I think the timing. I mean, it's also happening just ahead of the opposition unity meeting, uh, which is going to take place in Patna on 23rd. And see, this is the point. Is it Rahul Gandhi's favorite topic? Yeah. Even when he was in America and Cambridge earlier, but in America, where he, remember he made the point that I have been given the strictest punishment because I raised questions of the government. And this is what the government does to MPs, opposition MPs, doesn't allow us to speak inside parliament, throws out out. And to a common man, if they want to air a different point of view, you take action against them and the social media. And I think the Congress also thinks, you know, I mean, that, you know, it's a social media platform, they're very popular with young people, young uh, youth are rebellious by nature, but you know, they, they, they don't like any kind of a control. So that's the narrative that they are definitely going to be pushing. And I think that's going to be the big electoral slogan. A vote for the BJP means a compromise of parliamentary democracy. And therefore, we stand vindicated. But there is a danger area there for the opposition, don't you think so? I mean, the Trump uh, issue and the Elon Musk coming in saying that, you know, it cannot be a captive of a political narrative, a particular political narrative and Twitter should be a space for all. Absolutely. And you know, these Twitter files came out earlier yes. and all kind of questions have been asked on Twitter. It's not as if Twitter is a spooky clean in this whole affair either. You know, there has been allegations against Twitter also. In fact, some have even accused Twitter in the past of backing the government, you know, at mm. certain stages yes. when the, you know, when the UPA government was there. So there has been all sorts of allegations against Twitter and it's become politicized. But what I think, what Rajiv clearly says, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, the minister says also the point that they were every day violating Article 14 and 19 of Indian Constitution. They were violating the rights of Indian citizens. Mm. So, you know, by shadow banning somebody would not you know and we have seen all of that as some of us have been victims of that in journalism that you know yeah. your twitter account just simply doesn't increase over the months so is there a shadow ban on you uh, is your twitter reach being uh, stopped because you Rahul Gandhi in fact filed a case against youtube against twitter saying my followers are the number of followers are decreasing alarmingly and now this is the allegation that the bjp is putting now many bjp leaders are complaining in fact i remember putting out a tweet saying my twitter account is not increasing and smriti rani replied on that mine is case. also not and smriti mine is a falling <laughs> and smriti rani replied to my tweet Tweeting plus one. 
So, you know, even the top minister of the government feels her Twitter account is also stuck. You know, so this seems that there is a problem in Twitter. I think the government coming out very strongly against it because government sees that, obviously it sees that there is a political uh, fallout of this and over the, you know, this larger narrative happening across the, you know, the globally that India is not, uh, you know, the Modi government is not very receptive of criticism. You know, that is that's it, like an intolerant regime on which the entire uh, Rahul Gandhi is trying to build his narrative when he was in the US also, he said the same thing. But I think the government here is strongly rebutting that on the same corner now, which Mr. Modi headed for uh, US uh, next week you know, for this uh, historic kind of a four-day uh, tour to US where he's the only second Indian PM to speak to the US Congress for a second time. Uh, uh, so, I think all this coming just before the US trip of the PM, the politics is going to be heightened. heightened. Don't you think so? Yes, absolutely. It's going to be heightened. And see, it's look at the, the sequence of events. I mean, Rahul Gandhi goes to America, raises this issue. Now, this is what is happening yesterday. The whole COVID app issue yeah. came up. And, of course, now uh, the Prime Minister going over there. So, there is... Um, Many feel that there is an ecosystem which has now captured the narrative and their Twitter accounts are actually increasing. And therefore, each time this issue comes up, the whole picture which is being narrated is of the Prime Minister or this government or this country being one which pushes one particular narrative, one particular religion and so on and so forth. So, the global picture, much as the Prime Minister keeps on saying, and you've been writing about it also, which the Prime Minister also tweeted, uh, is how things have improved, green shooting of the economy, the world is recognizing our mind and then you come out with this counter narrative. Absolutely and India being a digital, moving towards a digital economy, all those points also the government feels that well India makes rapid strides on this digital front, digital economy front, high UPI transactions and all that, there is a certain kind of a jealousy maybe abroad mm. you know in various quarters that why is India making such strides and so clearly it doesn't fit into the global yeah. you know the western narrative that you know the india is growing under modi you know yeah, in a way. i mean they would want us to be subservient i guess subservient i guess so that is exactly so i think that is happening and i think the last word maybe will be given by elon musk let's wait for elon musk yeah, yeah, tweet. waiting for tweets yeah Getting elon musk on what he feels does he stand by his uh, you know his predecessors words on twitter or does elon musk think differently, especially with Prime Minister Modi now going to the US. Let's see, it's going to be an exciting week ahead. Oh yes, it's going to be an exciting week again. I love these early morning breaks. It gives us so much of masala <laughs> for the rest of the day. And a power circuit. I think these breaks are timed with our power circuit. It gives yeah. us perfect fodder. Thank you so much for joining us. It's from the newsroom. Aman and Pallavi, power circuit for CNN News 18.